beyond debate from a medical perspective is what you're saying? Like we know this is happening? Well, first of all, it's beyond debate from a medical perspective. This study, six, absolutely proves it. 50 percent, and that's just psychosis. We're not even talking about anxiety and depression. And you mentioned schizophrenia. You know what's really troubling? There are people out there who are at risk of schizophrenia. We give them a lot of regular use of pot. We're talking about regular heavy use of pot. They get a schizophrenic break. They may never come back. We may never be able to treat them out of it with antipsychotic medication. I don't want to scare people out there. You could stop smoking pot. You could use antipsychotic medication. And in some cases, the paranoia goes away, the suspicion goes away. You come back to reality. In some percent of cases, Tucker, you don't come back to reality and you stay as a schizophrenic, and this may be the reason. This is really, really a disgrace that this is not being considered, and I'm really glad you brought it up. It's becoming a worse and worse problem the more powerful pot gets. And you know when it gets legal, then it gets more powerful. It's, it's in foods, it's in, it's in juices, it's in cosmetics even, and it's, in, it's more powerful than what they smoke, what people smoke. Anyone who's ever seen the tragedy of schizophrenia up close will know exactly what you're talking about. There's nothing more upsetting. Dr. Siegel, I appreciate that you're coming on tonight. Thank you. It's a big warning. Thank you for having me, Tucker. We have an exclusive report.